Welcome to Album of the Week, episode 24, March 2023. For those of you new to this channel, here at Screen Blast Repeat, we bring you all things extreme metal, prog, and dark alternative. You can read our daily reviews at www.screenblastrepeat.com. As a reminder, our definition of Album of the Week means our favourite record from a short list of eight. Today... We review the sophomore effort from progressive black metal duo Omega Infinity. Their new LP is called The Anticurrent, and they released it by a season of mist on the 24th of February 2023. Omega Infinity released their debut album at the height of the COVID-19 world panic in March 2020. Their mystical black metal journey through the solar system seemed appropriate for those unique times of fear and foreboding, yet... They also had the successor record ready to go before Australia's draconian quarantine regime prevented Nea Bliviscaris vocalist Zenoya from recording his vocals. As the brainchild of German multi-instrumentalist Tentakel P of Todgelichter, the duo knew they had a sequel that needed to be heard, and they now present the anti-current in its awesome glory after two years of delays and conflicting schedules. This is an audio siege that will suck you in and spit you out like a monumental abyss. People call Omega Infinity's art Void Metal, and that might be the most accurate term to describe the destructive power of their music. Album opener, The Alpha, starts like a downtune piece of prog metal with little concept of time coordination. Syncopated guitars spew from the speakers like geysers of molten lava, drums circle around the distortion with no concern for holding a regular beat, layers of hysterical wailing permeate through the channels, discordant pianos play out of key. You discern a succession of intelligible words at the three minute mark before the drums accelerate into blast beats and the guitars implode into a wall of vaporizing noise. It's a relief when the vortex swallows you into its embrace and the light at the end of the cycle appears once more with a soothing uplift of cascading synthesizers. The absurd violence of creation aligns with the human imagination of the Big Bang. Drums and guitars compete against each other at the speed of sound. Agonizing shrieks emanate from the other side of the swirling stargate. Beyond the Creator God, this monumental event is all we have to explain the origins of our universe. However unsatisfactory it may be, it reduces us to one indisputable thing. We are but specks of dust in this cosmos. Your ears will try in vain to identify purposeful guitar rhythms, but the chaos is shapeless. The ethereal menace of Iron Age attempts to do things with guitars that would not occur to most musicians. Listen how the brutish downward stabbing motion produces a stubborn melody underneath a crumbling edifice of constant rhythm. Adrian Cowan of Seven Spires and Wings of Played adds an epitaph of control to our musings in the few moments of calm. Few artists beyond Bloodhouse Nord would even think to find melody in this type of harsh vacuum. 57 minutes of mega distortion and inhumane drums could lose potency once the inevitable descent towards planetary extinction becomes clear. Banishers from Eden feels like a remix of an industrial black metal song with additional layers of static and Angstschande, Neubart, and Power Tool effects. Chaos is the order here. 
What you can find in the war of this unsheltered existence is worth clinging to like a temporary reprieve from catastrophe. The cataclysmic black metal of To The Stars gives way to a sparkle of celestial synth loops. You can appreciate the harsh vocals in these moments of floating bliss. At times, you can hear the incorporeal death metal of Portal in this music. Australian industrialists the Amenta are another group that operates in a similar paradigm. Maybe Anal Nathwak as well. But it seems trivial to reduce this unfolding audio apocalypse to comparative artists when you experience something so overwhelming. But the cerebral mind takes comfort in imposing order on chaos. Death Rays recreates Emperor's adrenaline fueled onslaught from their 2001 Swan Song album, but adds psychedelic synth rotations and a coquettish spoken word cameo from ex Cradle of Filth keyboardist Lindsay Schoolcraft. The guitar distortion roars at you like the vacuum of a hoover as it tries to demolish a stubborn object that will not capitulate. You can survive the digital purgatory of voices from the end of time if you let the music lead you towards the void. Andras Nagy of Hungarian black metalers Sia Bliss provides the vocals for this audio cyclone. Here you feel the muscle behind the violence until it slows down at the 6 minute mark to the pace of a person catching their breath after dodging a high speed train. A cacophony of voices repeats the name of the song title over a furnace cooker of hostile sounds. There's no shame in being afraid. You can abort at track 7 and ignore the two cover songs at the end. The Anticoran asks the important question. How do you make sense of your impending demise in the context of the universe and the millions of years that preceded your existence? No ego can survive the thought that it's all for nothing. Omega Infinity's music is your chance to reconcile with that reality. So, after listening to it, and recognising that the Anticoran might be beyond comprehension, and taking into account the difficulty of understanding something so mind-bending, we award this album an 8 out of 10. If you like this album, we recommend you check out the following records. Bloodhouse Nord's 2022 offering, Disharmonium, Undreamable Abysses, Emperor's 2001 swan song, Prometheus, The Discipline of Fire and Demise, and Chapter 1, Obliterating Perfection from 2020 by Austrian black metalers, Minsk. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and more importantly, please visit our website at www.screenblastrepeat.com for the latest album and EP reviews from established, up and coming, and unsigned artists in the worlds of extreme metal prog and dark alternative.